The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here. This is Monday, the 7th of February. We're looking at the Dow, and this is the Tiger Financial News Network. 10 a.m. market update. Dow's down 8 at 35,083. I had a little uh, sign on Friday with my Chapman Wave chin gauge to say that <clears throat> the Dow should be a little weak at the opening before trying to rally. We've got that. <clears throat> now what we're looking at is uh, the Dow is holding quite nicely right on the 9 period moving average in the 14, but it needs very quickly to break into the 35,250 or higher area. The S&P at this particular point is trading, let me see, excuse me, <coughs> uh, is trading up 45.11, uh, sorry, it's up 11 at uh, 45.11. And we're also looking at the QQQ, the NDX 100, having a pretty, this is a pretty nice rally up uh, $1.90 at 359, almost 360. But it also needs to get much higher. It needs to get to the 363 level to say, hey, I'm trying to get back to the 370 level of uh, last week. We're looking at the IWM. I'm not sure quite why my charts are not showing. I think I messed it up over the weekend. Uh, we're up to at uh, 200 on the IWM, just struggling. Gold tried to have a rally earlier on. It's still running quite nicely. It's up six at 1814, stuck in the range between about 1825 maybe and supported the 1790s. You've got crude oil. I think crude oil is starting to make just a little bit of a sign that that Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone is starting to pull. Um, it's becoming a little bit of resistance. Let's say that. And we're talking about the TLT. Lehman 20 year Treasury bond fund down again, down 30 cents at 138.70. This is really telling us that those bonds, the bond yields are starting to move higher. Um, we'll be back in a moment for my Tiger Technicians Hour. Hope I've been able to correct the, uh, the pictures. And at the same time, what I will say is check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. I'll be back in a moment, just waiting for the music here. And then I want to figure out how to get the charts showing correctly. <laughs> 